Nearly 48 million Americans are expected to take a trip over the upcoming 4th of July weekend, according to AAA. That's up 40% from last summer's pandemic numbers. And a bipartisan group of senators is pressing the CDC and the TSA to update their mask requirements on planes and buses, saying, if the requirement for wearing masks while traveling can be safely lifted and would serve the public health interests, then we believe it would be benefit the traveling public. But although the CDC told vaccinated Americans last month that they, ha they no longer needed to wear masks indoors, the World Health Organization would beg to differ. It is urging even fully vaccinated people to wear masks and social distance. Its officials are warning that a large portion of the world remains unvaccinated and the highly contagious Delta variant is spurring outbreaks across the globe. Los Angeles County, where the Delta variant has surged to nearly half of all COVID cases, is now also recommending, as a precaution, masking indoors regardless of vaccine status. When a CDC spokesman was asked about the, the WHO's recommendation, the CDC gave no indication that they would change their current guidance. Joining me now to discuss is BNC's chief medical editor, Dr. Corey Abair. Dr. Abair, help me out here. It is so hard for me to get used to routines. I finally got used to wearing the mask. I finally got used to staying away from people and putting that you know, uh, you know, stuff on my hands every five seconds and uh, washing my hands eight times a day until they were chapped. And sure. then they told me to stop wearing yeah. masks and I was very reticent to do that and I finally got used and comfortable doing that. Now we're back to wearing masks? Okay, Charles, this is what I want you to remember and this is a cautionary tale. Just do what I say. And then you won't have any problems because I have said since the CDC all came out with this. What have I said on Black News Channel since the day the CDC said this? Do not take off you are your right. mask. You said it. You, you said it. I, I did. I did. And, and the reason why it's real, it, it, it's kind of a, a, a commonsensical thing that if we know that there are variants that are affecting people around the world, right? Let's just take, for example, the Delta variant uh, in, in Europe, right? It, let's just say even in India, let's go to India. We realize that over half the people that have gotten infected with the Delta variant have had two doses of the Pfizer vaccine. So now if you know that, now these people haven't died, they've just gotten infected, they've gotten sick. So if you know that, and we have that data and we know that the virus is not going anywhere the virus lives so that it can infect that we know that the virus is going to continue to replicate in infected individuals and the only people that can be infected and make it replicate are people that are unvaccinated and you got folks out here selling vaccination cards on 42nd street on in the french quarter all over the country trying to say that they're vaccinated and they're not so with all of this issue with trust and lack of vaccination you need to just be extra careful because we are the people that are dying the most even the cdc said it had to come to certain parts of the country you have to do the mandates in certain parts of the world certain cultures you have to look at your municipalities and that's why i've always said black people cannot afford to lose our culture we must get vaccinated for the culture and that is my new tagline and i'm sticking to it I get it. I get it. I mean, I, I I have to get over the idea that I was going to sit on my mask to my mother. And she's going to make me a COVID quilt. I get, I get it. I'm going to get over that. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to keep all my masks. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. But, but I, I do want to understand something that you were saying just now, because I, I wasn't aware of this. Are you saying that 50% of the people who are infected with, 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 uh, with the Delta variant have gotten were double vaccinated these are all breakthrough infections yes yeah, so in uh in india we have i mean i'm sorry in israel in israel be very clear here the study came out three days ago that showed that the 50 percent of the people that had gotten the pfizer vaccine two doses 
50% of their infected folks in this study had gotten it. So what we know, what we have to remember is this, the COVID vaccine, Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, whatever, they all work on coronaviruses, okay? To some degree. But the drug companies are feverishly working on the, the, the boosters, not necessarily just to make the vaccine last longer, but to address more of the variants, okay? So if black people and brown people and poor people do not get the vaccine, that means that when the boosters come out, they won't be able to get the boosters because they'll have to get the first dose, then the second dose. So they'll be three months out before they can get the boosters. And then that's three months of deaths of black, of brown and poor people. And that's why we have to get the vaccine. So granted, now this is the, this is the key here. That's very right. important. The, vac the, the, the virus cannot mutate unless it is infection, infecting people. OK, so it will only mutate in people that are infected and unvaccinated. So if you are unvaccinated, you're putting right. yourself at risk. If you are unvaccinated, you're putting our culture at risk because you are the person that is causing the mutation because you are the one that's getting infected. You see what I'm saying? This is this is. So a, look, a I just want to make here. sure I understand something, though, Dr. Abair. So, you, you yes. know, if you get infected, but you're not getting sick from it necessarily, you could be a carrier or a vector for the disease. Or, or if you are vaccinated, are you also able to transmit the disease if you have it? I just want to make sure that we uh, are clear with that with our viewers. Yes, the studies are saying if you are vaccinated, the odds are you cannot transmit. The odds are you cannot, cannot transmit. transmit. Okay. You could still get in, cannot, cannot transmit, but you still could get okay. infected and you still could get sick. Most of the time you will not die, just like with the flu shot. If you get the flu shot, then you are not going to die from the flu, but you still could get the flu later on in, in the flu season, but you're not going to get so sick because you have antibodies to it. Right. So what we have to remember right now, though, is that as the fall starts to come back, uh, the viruses get much more virulent in the in the wintertime and in the fall. People are not outside. We are all inside. It is cold. And that's why we start to see this increase in replication. And if we do not have poor brown and black people vaccinated, we are going to see a really big increase. And guess what? It's not going to be 600,000 people like it was. It's not going to be. Maybe it might be 100,000. But if they're all poor brown black people, we lose our culture. And then it's not going to be all over the media because it's not rich white people dying. It's poor black people. And that is my problem with this whole situation. That's why we have to do what we have all right, to do. Folks, and that's why viewers, I want to do stop right here. Pause. Underline what Dr. Abraham just said because he's been very good at predicting things. So we want to make sure we tag this so that when he comes back in a couple of months that we ask him about it, he's gonna tell us, you know I said that and it was right. <laughs> hey, is that my voice? Is that my voice now, Charles? <laughs> yeah, I, I just I, I care about us. I, I, I care about us so deeply, and I've been having boots on the ground with this thing, man, for so long. And I just want us to 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 lean at the tape. I want us to be strong at the finish line. I don't want us to limp across the finish line. We have to be strong. If we're going to start strong, let's end strong. Get vaccinated. Get your two doses. Move on. Wear your mask. Be an exemplary person. Be a person that sets an example for the rest of us. And talk to our kinfolk. Talk to your grandmother because she ain't listening to LeBron James. She don't care if LeBron James get vaccinated. She doesn't care if, if uh, some actress gets vaccinated. She cares about if her grandchild gets vaccinated, if her pastor gets vaccinated. Those are the people that she will trust. And if she Get, if she gets vaccinated, which more than likely she already has been, then maybe her grandchildren will. And that's what we're trying to do now. Uh, Dr. Avery, I just want to just get, have you just update us on, on what the state of play is with hesitancy and, and rates of vaccination for black people in America right now. Has it, gone, has it gotten better since the last time we spoke? Uh, is it going in the right direction or, or where does it stand? It, it is not going in the right direction. And this is what we're finding. There's hesitancy, but we need to, we need to I don't even want to call it hesitancy anymore because what it is is it, the vaccine is readily available. So if you haven't gotten vaccine by now, you don't want to get it. 
because it's not that you just, you know, I can't find it or I can't do this. You don't want to get it. And there's several reasons, Charles. One of the reasons is if you're a black man and you got to go to work every day, you can't afford to just say, I might miss work tomorrow because I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling good because I got a vaccine. So that is part of the social determinants of health that we always must ag- address because black people don't have it as easy as some other people uh, and races in, in this country. So we can't just do the things that other people do because we have a bigger price to pay. So that's one thing. But our numbers are still 30 right. to 40 percent. And that's just not good enough, Charles. Not good enough. Dr. Corey Amer, thank you for bringing your expertise and also for bringing your crystal ball to tell us the future. Uh, really appreciate your time, <laughs> sir. Thank you for coming on tonight. Negro Damas. Just call me Negro Damas. <laughs> <laughs> your Black History Moment is next.